Welcome everyone to the official launch of the 2020 United Way fundraising campaign at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Please allow me to acknowledge my co-chairs, Richie Hunter, Vice President for Strategic Communications and External Relations, Jacqueline Farmer of the Division of the Chief Information Officer, and Nicole Durick of our School of Engineering. I also want to recognize our coordinators, Tracy Lieback of Strategic Communications and External Relations, and Lisa Martin of our School of Engineering. And I thank our steering committee members and our volunteers, too numerous to name. This morning, once again, we will hear from Mr. Peter Gannon of the Rensselaer class of 2011 and the president and CEO of the United Way of the Greater Capital Region, as well as Mr. John Everly, President and CEO of the Community Foundation for the Greater Capital Region that partnered with the United Way in creating in March the Capital Region Community COVID-19 Response Fund. As of October the 8th, the fund has raised over $1 million to help our neighbors who were disproportionately affected by the COVID crisis, which as you know, is an economic crisis as well as a public health crisis. Indeed, nationwide, the pandemic has been particularly hard on low-income families with children, which has been the most likely to experience income shocks. Many families are struggling now even to meet their most basic needs. In September, for example, more than 6 million American households missed either a rent or mortgage payment. And rates of food insecurity for households with children have soared. So your commitment to the United Way has never been more crucial. And a campaign has never been more important than this year's campaign with its theme of respond, recover, reimagine, and rebuild. I am very proud last year that we were able to raise just short of $99,000 for the United Way of the Greater Capital Region and the agencies it funds. However, this year, our task is more difficult since events that we have counted on will not be possible, including the 50-50 raffles at the hockey games, the Thanksgiving lunch, and our fundraisers at the community fair. And the need is so much greater. So we will have to ask the members of our Rentalier community to consider increasing their donations, if they can, to help our neighbors through this difficult time. Fortunately, we are able to do two Dine and Dash events to support our campaign at Paolo Lombardi's in Winanskill on election night, November the 3rd, and at the Brick in Clifton Park on November the 19th. And we did not give up on our very popular Rensselaer Runs United 5K race, and instead arranged for virtual participation between October 10th and the 18th. In total, our 82 runners and walkers helped us to raise $5,440 for the United Way. So I thank each of you and all of you for your hard work, your large hearts, and your ample imagination during this unique campaign season which is asking us to give even more of ourselves than usual. Your efforts not only will support those in need, they will help to bring all of us at Rensselaer together as a community, one that I am so very proud of. Together, we brighten the prospects of our neighbors and we change the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> 